yeah hello yeah it's another day it's a bit cold here and we have a laptop here and this laptop is spinning the fan after you plug in the charger but we are not going to have a display yeah this one is coming from another computer shop yeah the technician brought it here and told me that uh, when you plug in the charger machine will start but you will not have a display and let's do that right away so that we can confirm the we can confirm the details yeah check my power supply check the power supply there it's uh, you can see it's taking 0 0.5 amperes i don't know whether this is gonna shift to yeah 0 0.6 amperes in this series of a laptop should be giving us a display yeah the fan has started to spin you can see but we don't have a display yet I don't know. Yeah, the fan is spinning. It's spinning at a, at a higher speed. Okay, you know, I'm going to try another RAM. Let me try another RAM. Yeah, so uh, what could be the possible what could be the possible causes of a laptop that is coming on? Uh, the fan is spinning, but you don't have a display. Let's try to to assess those. What could be happening in such a situation? You have your laptop, plug in the charger, and you switch on the power button. The laptop is coming on, uh, but you don't have a display. So one thing I would suspect are the RAMs. It's either the RAM is faulty, either the port is not okay. Try to check the port, whether the port is very clean, whether the RAM is clean, whether the RAM is faulty. What else could be the problem? The screen. Your laptop screen could be having an issue. Another problem, your screen connector. Your laptop screen connector could be having an issue too. How do you do this? How do you find out whether it's the screen or the screen connector? This is where you look for another laptop and take the screen out and try to switch the screen with another laptop. And if the screen is working, the screen is okay. The other thing you can do to check whether the machine is okay or why the display is not coming is you can change the screen connector and put a, another one on the, from the motherboard to the screen and see whether that is going to work yeah the other issue could be the bios chip the corrupt bios chip could also cause this you have a, a corrupted bios you find that the machine especially the hp uh, lightbook g series they have a very uh, they have a very a very high probability of having a corrupted bios where you find that the fan is spinning at a very high speed but uh, you are not going to have a, a display and that's when you go and program the bios so the other thing could be the processor yeah when the processor is dead sometimes you'll have your machine come on start as usual the fan is spinning uh, the lights are on the keyboard lights power button network sound but you not have a display so those are the major issues as to why your laptop will be coming on the fan is spinning but you not have that display and so let's try to check these factors uh, and see whether it's true we'll be having a a successful case with this laptop or not so let's start with the rams here so what we do here uh, let's go under the microscope and try to check for these rams see whether they are clean or maybe they are not in the in the favorable condition for for making uh, our machine have a display so let's check so focus is the light too much should i try to reduce the light 
Okay. Oh, I can already see something here. What could this be? This is some hair. This is some form of... Okay, this laptop looks like this laptop could belong to a woman. Or to a lady. Or a man who have got long beards. Beards, eh? <laughs> you know, you are trying to, trying to ascertain where this could come from. It's either this laptop belongs to a lady or a man who who has reared very long beards. So let me try to pick that here. Yeah, this is a DNA sample. Yeah, this is a DNA sample. You can take it to the laboratory and we'll get to know the real DNA of the owner of this laptop. Okay, I don't know why I'm not, a, I'm not able to grab it. Okay, I'll try to scoop it now. By force, by fire. Yeah, it's out. So we are not interested in the DNA right now. Right now we are interested to check the RAM port. And to see whether the RAM port is the problem. Or maybe something else is causing this. So we have another sample here. Yeah, this is the reason why you see cooks. Or people working in food industry wear capes. And men who have long beards, they wear capes. Uh, they also wear some, some capes on their beards. To, to prevent this problem of having having beards or hair in the food you understand now eh? you see you could not have seen that hair without the help of the microscope so if you are going to hotels where the cooks are not wearing capes you can imagine how many pieces of hair you have eaten You have eaten so many pieces of hair and beards. Eh? Maybe that's why you should cook for yourself. Try to cook for yourself once in a while. So I think these are the... Okay, to me these ram pots looks nice. Okay, the, the cloudy thing looks like uh, just something from the company. And it's not something that is bad. So me, I'm okay with the ram pots. It's morning, morning. Yeah, morning. <laughs> Let me check the ram itself. Okay, what about the ram itself? Yeah, I think somebody has tried to clean this ram. You can see the scratches. Yeah, somebody was trying to... Okay, give me a focus, my friend, eh? Thank you. Okay, somebody was trying to clean this ramen, so... Okay. Ram lo looks nice. So, and the motherboard? The motherboard also looks fair to me. Looks okay. Ah, yeah, so... Uh, let's take back the RAM. So we are going to come out of microscope mode now. And try to, to do other form of physical inspection. So we have seen that the only thing we have, we were able to detect was here. So we are not interested with hair in any way. And so let's test the other thing. I'm trying to see whether the motherboard will come on. You can also pick some, some keyboard, external keyboard, and connect it to the laptop. And try to see whether you'll have a caps on. 
So is the machine on? Well, that's the fan is spinning and I don't have a cap on, so we still don't have a display. So we still don't have a display. Okay, I'm going to go to the next step of changing the RAM. Maybe trying a new RAM on this laptop. Do I have a PC4 here? Yeah, I'm having a PC4 here. Yeah, let me try this PC4. Okay, PC4 is plugged in. So let's connect, plug the charger again. Yeah, you know why we are doing this, eh? Is to avoid the... Uh, uh, going 10 kilometers yet the problem is just about a half a kilometer yeah there are some instances where you find that you have opened dis disassembled the whole motherboard did everything else and you're just keeping a step that is just very near to you and you'll have done a lot of work for nothing and yet you would have spent very few minutes on that issue and that happens only because you left out some important details of going step by step and checking what could be the issue. Okay, I'll get some more arms. Let me also try to test um, with these ones. Okay, this one did not give me anything. So let me try this one here. Okay. Uh, are you going to have anything? No, still nothing. Totally nothing. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to... Let me test this keyboard. Okay. So my keyboard is okay. I've tested with something else, but uh, so we are not. We're still not having a display. Oh, from which key am I? So just from the speed of the fan. Eh? See, I've just remembered I was testing with this thing here, and there's no flex coming from the motherboard to this part here. It has been removed. I think the technician is having it in his shop. So let me use this other side here. And we still have nothing here. Eh? So let's try to change the RAM port. Yeah, I've changed the RAM port. nothing okay you know what 
so let's return the original ram so we are done with testing the rams and let's take the motherboard out let's grab the motherboard for some voltages and physical inspection after which maybe we are going to have a bios reprogrammed on that motherboard and see whether we're going to have a display okay Disconnect there. Screen connector. And the motherboard is out. From the look of things, I don't see anything anything wrong with the motherboard. Let's go back under the microscope. Let's go back under the microscope and see what you can do here okay focus so let's try to do some physical inspection so that chip looks nice to me these are the ports this one looks nice to me this one looks nice okay yeah physical inspection is very important try to remember that all the time because under physical inspection you gather a lot of details yeah our kbc chip startup chip okay this one the processor pch yeah to me this board looks okay the board is clean looks like somebody has never worked on this motherboard before Ah, and so I think uh, I think uh, the motherboard is just fine now should we go to the next step huh? okay before we go to the step of trying to check the BIOS I always try to check the processor so that I may not have a there's a time I opened a laptop and the processor was having a hole. I had struggled for like quite some time with the processor. Yeah, and the thermal plates look very fresh to me. So I think the other technician guy has uh, tried to 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 reapply thermal paste. So I am okay with that area too. okay what i may try to do is let me try to apply some heat here yeah i have known this motherboard to have some problem with dry joints yeah we were not successful by all those procedures that we did including uh, uh, apply some heat on the motherboard and i think now it's time to try to do the bios there's no other option so let me take the motherboard out let's see whether the bios is going to 
to change anything okay under the microscope yeah the other day somebody was asking me how do you know the the bios chip i did a video and i uploaded and somebody i think was watching the video and they saw that i programmed a certain bios and certain my laptop bio and machine came back to life and they never knew how to identify the chip and i replied to the person down in the comment section and told him how to and maybe i should also talk about it here you have a machine like this one uh, this is a 840g3 and you don't know which is the bios chip in most of the cases you'll find that in some machines like the latest generation that uh, like the 840g5 the by the main bios chip is very big it's bigger than the other chips but if you look at these two chips here these are two bios chips yeah this one and this one they're almost the same how do you know that the the chip that you are looking for uh you can see this one is written uh, 365 uh, should i use a uh, 365 and this one is written 366 so in most of the time they come in order where you find that if the chips i give the example of if a chip is named u12 and the other one is named u13 u12 in most cases is, is the main bios chip so that is how you put they identify when a machine is having several chips so the main one in most cases has the 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 lesser number or maybe the like you have a 12 and 13 u12 and u13 u12 should be the main bios chip and so we'll go under the microscope and try to scoop our main chip here which is u365 right away okay so here it is let me try to see where that chip is it's somewhere here yeah, you see u365 or cn365 this is our guy here <laughs> Grab a tweezer and scoop out this chip. Yeah, remember to not uh, knock down other components as you're trying to remove the bio chip. And because now the machine will be dead. And you won't even know it because maybe you won't even be aware that you knocked off a component. In my other videos you have seen that. Yeah, so the bus chip is out. Okay. Let's get off microscope mode. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, so I'll program this chip here. and see if we are going to have a display this one is okay
yeah be aware of pin number one always yeah, this is my pin number one Yeah, let's see whether it's going to be detected. <sighs> yeah, chip is detected. So let's read. You see the green light here. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. See the green light will, will signify that. You see now you only have the red light. But if I say read you see the green light is on eh? so that green light is reading our chip after which we are going to program and try to solder back onto the motherboard so yeah, let's meet after this is done it's going to take some time okay yeah so i'm done programming the chip Yeah, so I've soldered back the chip. We can remove the programmer now. And so let's see. Now we just need to see whether the the board will be fine. Let's wait for the board to cool down. Yeah, so as we were saying before, remember, we said the several steps you need to take when your machine is coming on after you're plugged in the charger but you're not having a display. One is spinning and everything else except the display so we said the ram the ram slots try to check for the screen screen connectors and you go under all those and if the all those are not working now you can try the the bios writing the bios and that's what i'm just from doing writing the bios and let's see whether this is going to to work sorry let me pick a call just one minute Yeah, sorry, I had to take that call. So now let's try to see whether the the machine is working. Yeah, corrupt BIOS. Yeah, sometimes your machine will have corrupted BIOS, or maybe the RAM is not working, or maybe the the processor is, is not in check and that could be another issue as to why you are so the, the ram is okay so we checked the rams and i don't think the rams and they had an issue so let's check now the moment of truth what do you think are we going to have a display or not you only pray to almighty god to to Okay, for supply, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 amperes. Are we going to have a display here? Ha ha! Ha ha! We have a display. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. We have a display. That's fine, eh? Yeah, you know why I'm laughing, eh? <laughs> Sometimes you work on these machines and... They are not responsive. Eh? You've gone to the RAM chip, you've gone to the ports, you've gone to everything else, and these machines are not working. And they, sometimes they are stubborn. And when you have one successful case, especially on this machine here, you are very happy. You are very happy that you're able to do it. Yeah, the customer, I think he is afraid. They are afraid that your screen could be taken. You see, they are trying to put on some marks. Yeah. 
you know, people have seen things. People have seen some stuff. Take your laptop to a technician. Some things are missing here and there. But you know, it's life. It's life. So what do we do? Yeah, so some machines, unlike this one, where you have a corrupted BIOS and the machine is not coming on. Actually, there's no fan spinning. But you have having all voltages. Eh? Having this chip not there actually will uh, will will result to your machine not. Uh, so sometimes, uh, okay, what I'm trying to say is uh, it's not in all cases that a corrupted BIOS will resort, will resort to a motherboard that is fin spinning the fan. Some motherboards do not spin a fan. They are just quiet. Put in the charger, nothing is happening. Taking nothing, maybe 2 to 3 amperes, 2, two to 3 milliamps, maybe 17 milliamps, they are doing nothing. You still can program this chip and the machine is back to normal. So know when to... to to determine if it's the BIOS or maybe the motherboard is having any other issues. And most of the time, when you have the 19 volts, when you have the 3 volts, when you have the 5 volts, and sometimes the 1.8 volts near the RAM, most of the time, and, there are, and the 3 volts on the BIOS chip, most of the time you'll find that that machine is having a corrupted BIOS or the BIOS chip is not working. And so when you program the BIOS, machine will be back to life. So guys, thank you so much. And um, very very grateful for the guys who have been able to subscribe and you have not if you have not subscribed please support our work please support our channel let me know what you think down what you what you think down in the comment section and i'll go to the next video bye